There are two great reasons to have a movable field. One is that you can get that field outside of the stadium to get it direct sunlight and maintain it easier. And then you also have this empty stadium you can now use for whatever other events you want to put on without worrying about damaging this pristine field. Install 13 rails, 1,146 feet long, to move your playing field entirely out of your stadium. With a field that heavy, sliding it's going to be no easy feat. You've got to find a way to reduce friction to get it out of the stadium. To help move that field, it sits on 542 wheels that are each 15 inches in diameter. Drop that knowledge next time you go to a football game, especially if you don't know much about sports and you need something else to talk about. Step 5. Install your real grass playing field. The field sits in a giant tray, sort of like the world's biggest lasagna. The bottom layer is corrugated steel. On top of that, there's concrete and a plastic drainage mat. Over that, there's 10 inches of dirt and sand, and then the very top, two inches of grass. Along with all that, there are also built-in drainage and sprinkler systems. So what happens to the drainage and the sprinklers? They just kind of go with it. Sprinklers will travel. With all layers in place, your 94,000 square foot playing field will weigh 18.9 million pounds. Weight does not include professional athletes and or cheerleaders. So mechanically, how do you get a football field from one place to the other? It sounds like a terrible riddle, but it's actually just math. The movement of the field is controlled by 76 one horsepower motors. And those might seem like they're not very powerful, but it's better to have a lot of smaller motors as opposed to a few large ones because it distributes the load more evenly over the whole field and it makes it less likely that those individual drive wheels are going to slip on their rails. It does take an hour and it has to move 741 feet. So, how fast is it going? It's going about 741 feet an hour. I did the math for you. You're welcome. Step six, it's time to add the final amenities. Construct 310 points of sale, 77 public restrooms. Be sure to have more women's than men's. 10 elevators, 18 escalators, two giant video screens. Then install 88 luxury suites with private bathrooms, television, and catering. Charge up to $125,000 per season for each suite. Finally, make arrangements to handle a crowd of up to 71,000 people inside the stadium. A bigger population than many entire towns. So the ratio of bathrooms to people is like very scientific. Same with concessions. If there's a lot of beer, you're going to need a lot of bathrooms. It's a fact of life. At least double the number of women's restrooms. They tend to line up. The li I don't know what goes on in there. Think of the ladies. Think of our tiny little walnut ladders. We have to have stalls. We can't just... This is getting gross, I'm sorry. <laughs> These things are very important in stadium. I guess also, like, seeing the game, you know, or whatever, but really I'm just counting down the time between when I can eat another hot dog. With your stadium finally complete, you can open up for business, knowing that you're contributing to the enjoyment of America's favorite sport. When you come to the game, you feel the excitement while you're also comfortable, well-fed, and beer is just a short walk away. You got a great day. That's how you want to watch football.